Hi Internet friends, in this episode, we take a look at the 2022 Australian LDV T60 Max Lux. If you are looking to learn more, please stay hooked up until the end, we'll be diving into what we know about this new ute. If we had an ambition criterion in our scoring area, the new LDV T60 Max Lux would get a perfect 10 out of 10. Its press statement mentions only two competitors, the Ford Ranger and Toyota Hilux, which dominate both the dual cab market and Australian vehicle sales in general. It's a big statement, but why aspire for anything less than the top? Nonetheless, with big ambition comes tremendous expectations, so the question we must address is, how does LDV's extensively revised T60 Ute stack up in a fiercely competitive segment? In terms of dollars and cents, it works out extremely well. The T60 Max range starts at $33,990 before on-road fees, but even our top-of-the-line Lux Automatic starts at $40,490, though these figures convert to a drive-away price if you have an ABN. The warranty is valid for 5 years or 130,000 kilometers, and roadside assistance is included. The T60 isn't a bare-bones vehicle either, especially inside, where the interior has been significantly renovated. A new 10.25-inch widescreen multimedia system takes pride of place on the dash, and a revamped gear shifter in the form of the vintage Audi A8 completes the makeover. The front seats are electrically adjustable and heated, there's a six-speaker audio, and you can access Apple CarPlay via a pair of USB connections up front. It's an amazing cabin for the money, with thoughtful features like leather padding on the center console for your knees, but there are a few flaws. The steering wheel can only be adjusted for height, not reach, and the seats have extremely small cushions, resulting in a lack of under-thigh support. They're also quite well padded, so you sit on them rather than in them. The reversing camera is also low resolution, and when reverse is selected, the T60 mutes the audio. In principle, this is a good safety feature to increase driver focus, but it only mutes the audio, which is frustrating if you're in the middle of a news bulletin, podcast, or your favorite song. The inclusion of a 360-degree camera is a welcome addition, and the safety package includes six airbags, rollover mitigation, and lane departure warning, however, the lack of autonomous emergency braking, forward collision warning, lane keep assist, and blind spot monitoring means the T60's 5-star ANCAP rating from 2017 does not apply today. The rear space is roomy enough for three adults in a pinch. There are air vents, huge bottle pockets in the doors, and a fold-down center armrest, but no USB charging connections are provided, and the rear bench is flat and could need additional support. On the outside, the new T60 is unmistakable. The bold front end has more than a touch of 300 series Land Cruiser about it, with the Lux distinguished by its black grille and front guard, as well as chrome mirrors. If there's any doubt, the massive T60 Max imprinted on the tailgate will swiftly clear it up. When the tailgate is folded down, you'll find a load bed that's 1,485mm long and 1,510mm broad at the floor, with a depth of 530mm, while the rear opening is 1,430mm wide and 1,131mm between the wheel arches. A spray and tub liner is standard, as are four tie-down points, two on the back wall and one on either side of the tailgate opening. The Lux's maximum payload is 750 kg, the Pro's heavy-duty suspension doubles this to 925 kg, but its 300 kg maximum tow ball weight must be considered if towing the maximum allowable 3,000 kg, braked. I've organized this evaluation in the typical dual cab buying sequence, price, cabin, then load carrying, but the T60 Max's big news lies under the hood. It's especially significant because, on paper, it puts the LDV in the same league as Ford and Toyota in terms of performance. The T60 Max offers 50 kilowatts per 140 newton meters more power than the original T60's 2.8 liter engine and 30 kilowatts per 125 newton meters more power than the Trail Riders 2 liter. Indeed, this is currently the most powerful four-cylinder diesel on the market albeit by only 3 kilowatts over the Ranger, in 2-liter biturbo form, and 10 kilowatts over the Hilux. 
To be honest, both feel more powerful on the road, but that doesn't degrade the T60. It's a smooth, grunty engine that revs cheerfully, though noisily, to the top power point of 4000 RPM, but the noise level calms around cruising. On loose surfaces, the ABS may activate rather early, however this is most likely due to the all-terrain tires. Aside from that, the T60's handling is so-so. The steering is heavy and lacks connection, but as long as you remember you're driving a high-riding ute, there are no major issues. A rear diff lock is included, and traction control appears to be enough, but the tires will be the limiting factor in any off-road adventures. In the end, I don't think the T60 Max will entice any Ranger or Hilux buyers, and I don't think LDV expects it to. At this price point, potential rivals include the GWM Canon, Senyong Muso, and possibly a base model Mitsubishi Triton. The T60 stands out in this category, with better dynamics than the first two and a swisher interior and more performance than the latter. A comparison test will be required to determine where it falls in the pecking order. As indicated in this review, there are flaws, particularly in the area of active safety when compared to newer competitors, and hopefully, the new infotainment system addresses the concerns that many customers had with the old one. In essence, the question that kept showing up was, would I be dissatisfied if I paid $40,000 for this? The answer is no, the T60 Max update is substantial, resulting in a respectable option worth considering if you're looking at the lower end of the dual cab market. There you go internet friends, let's hope you enjoyed our take on the 2022 LDV T60 Max, please give us a thumbs up, it helps our video in the ranking on YouTube so more people can get to see it, until tomorrow, ta for now.